It's been nine months with the P30 and as you can tell, I'm still using this free case with it. It's all faded and ugly looking and it's not showing off the beautiful color that this phone has. But anyways, it's a free case and it does protect it really well. And sadly, this is the last of its kind that I know of is getting uh, Google Play services. So it sucks, but since we're talking about that, let's just dive into the UI first and how I feel about the software. And I would say the EMUI is not my favorite one out of all the phones I've used. It's probably the least favorite one. After using a lot of other phones out there, it's really natural for me to swipe down to get to my notification center or swipe up or sideways to get to my apps. So every time when I'm going back to EMUI, it feels like I'm taking another step to get to the things I need to do. I would say one of the best things Huawei got right is using the back gesture button because from the Mate 20 series, that's when I noticed that going back on the sides from anywhere, either or, was probably the best thing that I've used in pretty much any Android phone. And that was my first time experiencing that back gesture is on a Huawei phone. So I love this so much that I wished it would offer it on all Android phones. And now that the newest update on Android 10, it happens to be on the Google phone as well. So it is better off and I do love it. And I would say that is my favorite thing out of the whole UI is just that back gesture. And for performance, it is still pretty smooth. Going through Facebook, internet, watching YouTube videos and just taking pictures, all that, I still haven't noticed any performance step at all. The size of this phone is perfect for my hands. It's nice and small and light. And when I'm holding it, I don't feel like I'm dropping it. Even though I'm using my thumb to reach around the whole screen, it doesn't feel like it's gonna slip out of my hands. This is a small detail, but I do like how the power button is placed below the volume rockers, just because naturally as I'm holding the phone, my thumb is already resting on the power button. So it is much easier to actually turn it on and off. Unlike the Pixel where the power button is on top of the volume rockers. So I noticed that I'm always reaching for it every time I wanna turn on my phone. So it's the small things that help me improve my life. And for the camera, after a lot of comparisons, I can confidently say it just produces a lot of greens in your images. Even on day one, I got this phone, I already noticed it right away. Danny Winget and I were in Paris and we decided to walk around at night, take pictures and do videos. So that's when we noticed that a lot of green was showing up in our pictures. And the next night during dinner, Danny told the Huawei people that there is a lot of green in our images that we took during that night. So they do know and hopefully they can improve on it or fix it in their next model. And there are times where the pictures do look too over-processed, so they could probably dial that down a little bit as well. I do like how the camera gives you 1x, 3x, and 5x because other cameras out there who give you 2x, I feel like the crop in or the zoom in is too small of a difference where I can just easily take two steps in and I get the same thing. So 3x and 5x is good enough where I feel like it's a good jump to actually get a good picture. And on the P30 Pro, I think it goes from 1x, 5x, and 10x. And when I use it, I noticed that I always happen to zoom out because going 10x was way too much. For video, it does decent during daytime, but when it gets dark, that's when the whole video quality becomes crappy. So I would say that is the biggest weak point of the camera is the nighttime video. And for battery life, it does keep up really good. It still lasts me throughout the whole day. And I would say Huawei does have the best battery management in pretty much any Android phone. So overall, this is a good performing phone for the people who are more casual to the ones who need more power. The breathing crystal color is my favorite one. I just love how the gradient white goes to a purplish blue. So that is my time with the P30. Let me know down below if anything that stands out to you with this phone. If you guys are interested, I do have links down below. Please follow me on Instagram, give a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.